Mackenzie? Welcome home, kiddo. What the hell is she doing here? I finished my term of service in Darfur. I got an email from my dad saying Grandma might be alive, so I caught the first plane home. Well, we're glad you're here. If I'd known there'd be a wedding, I would have worn a nicer shirt. Um, Casey Browning, this is Chloe. Used to be Kate Valentine. Esther's daughter. Yes, and now I'm officially Mrs. Billy Abbott. What in God's name is all that noise? You want more, Jill? Bring it on. Is that Grandma? No. Oh, Chloe, I, I'm sorry about your case. But my dear, she just kept pushing me and pushing me. I wasn't and pushing, pushing you. I was merely pointing out what a miserable witch you I are. I am miserable. Every other word out of your mouth was nothing. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You're, you're done. You're done. I, I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. But we actually just got some fabulous news. Catherine, tell them. Oh, right, right, Catherine. Tell them your wonderful news. The proof is in. I am Catherine Chancellor. Bach is my son. This thing is not my daughter. Oh, I wish you would have told me you're coming home, sweetheart. After all, I am your father. Duchess, I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, my God, I'm going to your home. <laughs> but I heard you might be alive. Oh, I've missed you so much. Oh, wait, well, I'm so, darling, you get cake all over me. No, I don't care. All right, oh, I don't care. Right. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, I don't oh, ever see hey, hey, no, no, no crying here. This is time for celebration. Oh, okay. The Grand Dame of Genoa oh. City is back in town. Yeah. Oh, so sure it was you. Oh, Billy. So, Mama, I went to the hospital. I heard you say that you were the imposter. Well, Billy, the doctor didn't believe my story, and I was desperate to be released, so I just... Why? So you and Mom aren't really related? Well, there were many DNA tests done. None matched me to Catherine, and this last one matched her to Brock. It was quite upsetting. And I'm sure she would rather that I just... I stayed dead and buried. I did not say that. Do not miss. Why did you me. attack me, Jill? Excuse me, you attacked me, you crazy old fool. Cool it, Jill. Hey, there's still some cake left. Okay, okay. Hey, oh. bride, groom, wedding reception. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, everyone, how about a little applause for the brand and you, Mr. and Mrs. William Adler? Yeah. Right now, I'm going to get into something a little less shaky. Okay. Oh, and when I get back, I would like to hold my precious... That precious baby of yours and Billy's. Okay. I'll, I'll help you clean oh, out this thing. Oh, yes. You okay? Yeah. Just a little thirsty. Excuse me. Never a dull moment, huh? Yeah. No kidding. I know how you felt about this wedding. Yes, I would have run through Main Street naked if I thought it would have stopped it. So then why did you step in as the maid of honor? Moment of weakness. Could you believe that Mackenzie's back in Mrs. Chancellor's life? Isn't that crazy? She came back because she thought that her grandmother was alive. You don't know? Know what? Much about her. No, I'm, I, I've never met her before. I was always in boarding school. Right, well, you should get to know her because she has many interesting stories to tell. I felt terrible missing the funeral. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, does it? <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Long flight. That's not what I meant. I'm glad you're home, baby.
My timing sucks. You think? So you've been off state in the world, huh? Oh, you were busy jet setting the little Hey, I work too. But I could fit it in. Congratulations. What? Your wedding. Ah. Most forgot. <clears throat> Your baby's beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous, right? I'm really happy for you, Billy. Hi. Hi. So, Mac, this is Cordelia. Oh, hey, baby. It's nice to finally meet you. Same here. I'm sorry I crashed your wedding. No worries. The more the merrier. But you wouldn't happen to have a cocktail dress in your backpack, Chloe. would you? But it would just make nicer for pictures. And book great timing, actually, because you're just in time for the fireworks. Yeah, some things never change. Yeah, you know, I, I'm thrilled for Mrs. Chancellor, and I love Chill, but she really is freaking out that she's not her daughter. I'm pretty, pretty grungy. I'm gonna go clean up. Hey. <sighs> I'm sorry I was flip about your mom. I know that your world has been totally rocked. Yeah. Just can't believe it. <clears throat> Cordelia Catherine, Valentine Abbott. A very, very big name for such a little, tiny, tiny girl. Who, I think, yes. Oh, come on. okay. Um, I, I actually got ready in your room and my stuff is upstairs. I saw that. Okay, it's just fine. Okay. No, I'll help you with Delia and we'll move your things. Okay. So, you are the father of the baby and not King. Yep. This family is just full of shocker. Mom didn't want to tell me over the phone, but I insisted. Well, it's really you? Mm -hmm. Please forgive me for not believing you. Oh, it's all right. You were simply trying to protect your mother. I was horrible to you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, forgotten. Oh. What? Murphy. Ah. Ma. Jane, this is Murphy, my fiance. You're engaged, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is a pleasure to meet you, sir. Same here. Uh. Billy Kane, there is something I think you would like to hear. Is it grand guy? Okay? Well, the fact is uh, you are not related to me by blood. Well, Kane's Philip's son. Means he's still a chancellor. But, well, my grandson's where it counts. And, uh, nothing has changed between us. <laughs> A mess you made here. I'll get someone to clean it up. Wait, 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 wait. Look, I know that you and I have never been close. No, but I am sorry for what you're going through. Well, Catherine and I aren't the only ones affected by it, are we? You and I both know that I never approved of your relationship with Billy, but that didn't make it any easier breaking it to him that he had to give you up and causing him that kind of pain. Why are you telling me this? Just that you wouldn't be human if you weren't wondering about what might have been if we knew then what we know now. That kind of thinking is a waste of time. I lost Billy. I've accepted it and moved on. I think that's everything. I'm all packed. Honey, I, I'm so sorry about your cake. It's okay. There's plenty of food. Well, I guess... No one's even thinking about food anyway. What with Mrs. C and Jill and Max showing up. I mean, today of all days. Yeah, what is all the fuss about Mackenzie anyway? It was just so awkward that Mac walked in on Billy's wedding. Why? 
because they were high school sweethearts before anyone even knew that Joe was Mrs. C's daughter. And then the whole cousin thing put an end to it. How very art film. Yeah, it was a nightmare. They found out on their honeymoon night. They were married. They was annulled. But Billy loved her. Honey, that was ages ago. They were so young. They haven't even seen each other in years. And yeah, who knows if they were in love with each other? And now that they're not cousins, then... Look, you are Billy's wife now. And you said yourself that things have been good. I know, I know. Look, you know that Billy wouldn't be with you if he didn't want to. Baby or no baby. Yeah, I guess not. It's a lot to absorb. Come on, Jack. I mean, five minutes after I married Chloe, I found out that my mom and my grandma aren't even related, and then Matt shows up. It actually shows up. Okay, it's a real mind blower. It's not a right mind blower, Jack. I've been thinking about Mac a lot. Okay, a lot. Like how different my life would have been if I just stayed married, maybe had a kid. Kelly, you know? listen to me. It's been six years since all that went down. You don't even know Mac anymore. There's a custody hearing coming up. So before you convince yourself you have to dump Chloe and the odd chance Mac might still be interested, think about this first. Is it worth giving up your daughter? Oh, I should have known that you were going to race over as soon as you heard the news. Catherine's alive. I think it's amazing. Yeah, and I thought that only people could rise from the dead on the sci-fi channel. You gotta admit, though, it is kind of ironic, don't you think? What is? Well, you went to all this trouble to try and bag yourself a chancellor. It turns out that your new hubby isn't even really one of us. Habit, chancellor, who cares? Your brother and I are actually going to be deliriously happy. I wouldn't bet on that. Whether you believe it or not, Billy actually cares about me. Uh, Billy cares about global warming. It's not really the same thing as love, is it? Hey, would you mind getting out of here? I thought you would never ask. Let's go, come on. Hey, everybody. Chloe and I are gonna split. Well, wait, uh, you haven't even thrown the bouquet. You know, I think I know who is getting married next and you may do as you please with my wedding cake i will stick to eating it and hey i'm glad that you're you hey so am i don't you um, see you later grandma i i mean uh, no no grandma's fine but I should. So He's changed. Yes, ma'am. Later, guys. Corn, I had bubbles and rye. Mom, you save it for Mrs. C's wedding. Thank you. No, you're not leaving, are you? Yeah. It's been a long day, Mom. I was hoping for a moment alone with you. Tomorrow, okay? Take care of my grandbaby. Got it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Happy honeymoon, guys. So we did it? Yep. Wasn't the wedding I expected, but you will be the talk of the town. Oh, yeah, probably for years. Lots of surprises. Oh, yeah. And Mackenzie? Didn't see that one coming. Really? She's been doing relief work in Africa. She hasn't been home in years. So you haven't seen her since? Now, is this really what you want to talk about on our wedding night? Huh? Hmm? No, I'm open to suggestions. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I got a couple. What a mess, huh? Mac? <clears throat> you look wrecked. 
And don't tell me it's jet lag. You're gonna play shrink now, Dad? No, you don't. You don't. Don't have to be a doctor to know you're thinking about Billy and what might have been if you'd known the truth. Jill said the same thing. I told her I don't believe in looking back. You still believe that? There's a part of me that can't help wondering what if. That doesn't change anything. Billy and I. It was a lifetime ago. What are you doing here? 